Petty revenge on driver tailgating me. Not sure if this is quite the sub for this. Do direct me elsewhere if there's a more fitting sub. I worked nights for over a year. The route home took me on a rural, one-lane highway. No street lights, lots of curves, lots of trees, lots of deer. The speed limit on this stretch is 55 miles per hour. Almost everyone goes 65, but I had noticed cops cracking down on people speeding on that road, so I stopped pushing the speed limit so much. I was on my way home, tired after a 12-hour overnight shift. It was pitch black out, no stars or moon because of cloud cover. I mean it was dark. But there was no one else on the roads at that time. Still, I didn't want to deal with deer or drive too fast on the winding roads while tired, so I kept my speed pretty close to the speed limit. A car pulls up behind me. Rides my tail. Flashing his lights, making like he wants to pass. Now, there's no shoulder, so I can't just pull over and let him go. Also, there's no one else out on the roads at this hour and hasn't been for the whole drive, he could easily pass me. So I slow down. He keeps on my tail, despite being on a straightaway where he could easily pass me. I set my cruise control at exactly 55 miles per hour and decide to ignore him, because I'm petty like that. I was going 58, almost 60 on the straightaways, but not anymore. You gonna be an ass, despite having ample opportunity to pass, that's on you, dog. As soon as we get to a no-passing zone as you do, he apparently decides he's had enough and floors it, zipping around me. Finally moments later, I see flashing lights in my rear view. A police car pulls around me and pulls over the impatient driver. Boy am I glad I kept it at the speed limit. TLDR guy waits till we get to a no-passing zone to pass me and gets immediately pulled over. Instant karma. Deer on rural roads are no joke. I actually see a lot more deer in suburbia these days, but the suburban deer have gotten smarter about staying or moving out of the way. Also you drive slower so you also can react. In rural areas 125 pound deer will do their squirrel impressions but if you hit it your car is totaled. If someone is riding your ass the safest thing you can do is slow down. Keep slowing down until they either pass you or you can safely pull over and let them pass. If you are doing 55 and you brake because of a deer or whatever the other car will be going into you at 55 miles per hour too, remember that. Cruise control is honestly a joy in these situations. It happens to me fairly often because I've had my share of speeding tickets in the past and I'm a reformed driver. When I had to go on the naughty girl's driving course the instructor specifically said, get a car with cruise control and set it. Not had a speeding ticket since, and I take such joy winding up assholes who want to bully me into speeding. Now mate, my car's in control. Continue having your tantrum but I'm telling you, cruise control don't care. Ah ha ha I love this man. I'm a pretty quick driver but never speed through 30 40 50 because that's when you'll get fined most likely plus fucking kill a person our village is strictly 20 miles per hour and my fiancé and I have witnessed lorries, mums, white vans, all doing 40 miles per hour speedometer both directions on the road. I always sit quite comfortably at the speed limit in these areas and if someone is wanting to overtake me then so be it I once had a Mercedes van flashing at me through a windy road that I was doing 60 miles per hour on. Still to this day 7 Y later I've no idea what he was doing. My brother calls those cars drivers bird dogs. They flush the cops out of hiding. Middle of the day in winter. A pickup came up behind me even though I was above the speed limit. There was a tiny passing zone, I slowed down and truck zoomed around me. Not two miles later they were in the ditch after hitting a deer. Coming into a little town from a road with 65 miles per hour limit down to 40, then 35. A black car flew around us and my husband made the comment, that's okay, he'll clear out the cops. Not one mile later we saw the black car pulled over. Glorious we laughed for the next five miles. I can do the limit. Keep tailgating to check. X200B. Bumper sticker. 
Just the other day I was on a two-lane road going almost 10 miles per hour over the posted limit, about 55 in a 45 zone. For the last two miles, I had a guy right on my ass. No flashing lights, not even a middle finger given to me. When it turned into a four-lane, he shot around me at a high rate of speed. About a mile or so up the road he was lit up by a cop. Had to be going at least 30 miles per hour over the limit. That ticket must have been large. The speed limit is a maximum, not a minimum. The sign says 55, but that's in the middle of a sunny day. I go as fast as I safely can, and people get insanely mad. People die in cars every day. I used to be a road rager. I would like to think I'm reformed. I guess everybody thinks they are a good driver, whether they are or not, and I'm one of everybody. I still like to go fast, and I still prefer to have an open road in front of me, but now I play nice with the other drivers on the road. Over the years, I formulated several rules of the road, based on observations of my and others driving. Zismog's second law of motion is. You can only go as fast as the car in front of you. How many times did you wash your windscreen? Any cunt gets to close for comfort I am happy to empty the reservoir. I'd have done the same thing tailgating, especially the aggressive kind steams my beans. Being calm and doing what you did diffused a potentially dangerous situation. Plus IDK if it was a speed trap but they are not called speed traps for nothing. Edit format. Finally they are around when you hope them to be. Good for you one. I drive for a living and deal with this same kind of garbage on two-lane roads when people frequently get the dotted line and won't pass you. I highly support your actions. When a car gets super close I like to throw my washer fluid on and give them a nice little spray it's pretty funny. I had that happen too it was so satisfying to see a sheriff come out of nowhere to pull the guy over. I was cackling my ass off lol. It will teach you asshole. I was driving overnight in Italy on a highway and someone in a bigger and more expensive car behind me started to anxiously flash me with headlights so I made sure I went the speed limit which was due to the construction 40 km h we had to cross to the other side of the highway. This guy didn't like that very much and after a few of his horn honking I realized my windshield was dirty so I cleaned it and finally the guy decided to keep his distance. It was a long section of 40 km h and I stayed on limit the whole time. Gif emote free emote pack joy served him right did you wave at him as you sailed by at 55 miles per hour? One of my glider instructors used to say you should keep one car length separation for every 10 miles per hour of speed. So if you're one car length behind me, we're going to do 10 miles per hour. Mind you, I do not do that myself. Nor advise it. The kind of story with a happy ending. Tie for sharing. I did that late one night. The car behind me was the one who put on blue lights and passed me illegally. A cop was tailgating me and his lights were blinding me so I slowed down. Face with tears of joy. Moments like these are why I have dashcam. Love this I haul a trailer on a road like that. At 3am I am in no hurry because I've seen enough deer and cars off the road to know better. I usually slow down to let them pass, it's just not worth it. Of course the other driver was so important that they needed to get to the place they were going, before you got to yours. The closer you get the slower I go sticker has gotten people to get around me going the speed limit for years now. Never use cruise control when you know you are in a deer zone. Or when it's raining, snowing, icing. Your brain relaxes from its standard alertness and your new foot to brake time is typically 3-5 times longer. I if you don't just hit the gas, which tends to happen. Similar thing has happened to me twice in the past 6 years definitely an extremely satisfying feeling when you see those lights flash D.